Hello and welcome to what could very well be the final episode of Bendy in the Dark Revival. It's the day after I recorded the last episode and I honestly didn't think I would come back to this game for a few days, but I'm just, honestly, really excited to, to keep playing. I, I'm very, for as critical as I am as what, has, as what has happened over the last few episodes, story-wise and gameplay-wise, I'm still very intrigued by what's going on right now. And looking forward to seeing what happens next, and it feels like we're kind of rapidly accelerating, we're kind of rapidly approaching a climax, so... I feel like the end of the game is within our grasp. Also, we finally haven't had enough to upgrade our stupid jet pipe, which means that at long last, we have the lightning upgrade thing where we can stun people, and I'm assuming also interact with this to some degree. Oh, I guess, okay, never mind, I thought we had to... Oh. Okay, so we are gonna use the, the jet pipe to power this down. I thought we had to whack it and it would disable, but no, we just stick it into the thing and, it, and, then, it, and then it works. All right, where are we going now? What did what did powering that down accomplish for us? It, oh, there's a ladder right here. There's a ladder right here that I did not see. So, as a recap for those who don't know, basically we got teleported somewhere. We got caught by a keeper and teleported to Wilson's mansion or whatever. Uh, I still have my teleporting ability, right? So I'm guessing I can't. Oh, oh, never mind. When did I get that back? Okay, I guess I have my teleporting ability back. So we got taken to Wilson's Haunted Mansion of Horrors or whatever. And then... Okay, what now? Oh my god! Okay, you have the Tommy gun, huh? Why didn't you just kill me immediately? And why are you still standing in front of the opening? Okay, cool. Well, I have the ability to teleport, so I'm guessing this probably won't be that big of an issue. Alright. You're looking at the middle right now. Yep. If you're just gonna stand right there, I feel like this won't be that big of a that big of a deal. Alright, where am I trying to go? Hit. Nope! Gotta keep one jump ahead of the bread line, one swing ahead of the sword. I still know what I can't afford. So, so if I can talk. Quickly, the we got teleported to the mansion somehow, some way. I don't know why he couldn't have taken us there at the beginning, but he did. And then we drunk the sleeping ink formula thing. And then Alice teleported into our bedroom. She knocked us out, took us to a table. And instead of killing us immediately, she played a jigsaw game with us, which is really dumb. And now she's trying to kill us, which makes you wonder why she didn't do that immediately. But whatever. Point point being, we we done diddly did it. We 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 escaped her jigsaw puzzle. And now I'm guess we just have to not die by her. Oh my! Okay, you have some lightning fast reflex. I, th I thought I was safe if I was below you. I've evidently, I am not safe if I am below you. All right, I saw a ladder over there somewhere. Uh, okay, the ladder's right there. Huh? Nope. Okay, I jammed. All right. I gotta. I'm gonna hope that when I get to the top of this ladder, you're not gonna be able to shoot me. Am I safe up here? Okay, good. I, I should have checked before I. Damn it. I should have checked before I came up here if I was gonna be safe. Uh, hi. Let's unlock it. You can't hit me from here. You're trying. I can hear you trying. I can hear the bullets flying my way. But you can't hit me. Also, it's funny because I... Oh, what the hell is this? I... I had just mentioned before Alice showed up that we hadn't seen her in quite a while. And then, lo and behold, she appeared right in front of... Or I guess right behind me. And you are going ballistic over there. Okay, your gun jammed. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have wasted that. Wait, is there no recharge? In okay, no, there is still a re Where's where? Why do I not have a symbol anymore? I don't. I don't have a symbol. Usually, there's a symbol in the bottom left showing me where my where my recharge thing is. But I do not have that anymore. Okay, so next step, if I can get. Nope, not shooting me. Come on, reload. I need to get back to that hallway. Go! Go, 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 I want to charge you up again, just in case. Before I get out of here, I still don't know where, I, where I'm actually trying to go, but I want to charge you up just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. Also, was that box, was were those boxes, I don't remember those boxes being here last time I was here. I feel like those boxes are a new addition. I probably should have looked to see what I actually did. I still have no idea. Uh, why are these boxes here? Why did this, this help me? Oh, oh, can I, oh, probably, they probably got knocked down so I can get up here. Ah, I see, gotcha, okay. 
So it said lock two, I think. So is there another lock behind this door that I can use to do? I still don't know what I'm trying to do. Like, am I trying? Can, can I just? Can I teleport from here to there and just kill her with my gen pipe? I don't know. I'm, I'm just going around trying to hit any level that I can, hoping. Ah, okay, yes. So that was lock one and two. That opens up. I don't. I don't know where that doorway is though. I don't know what doorway that's opening up, but I see something over here. New objective: banish Alice Angel. Okay. So I'm assuming, okay, I'm assuming there's a door right below her that opened up that I can go in, and then that uh, that'll take me behind her, and I can use my banish ability. Got it. Huh? Never mind. There's no door down here. There's no door down here. There's no door down here. All right. I was probably supposed to just go up there. I was probably just supposed to go up there. Cool. Uh. Uh. -huh. uh all right. This is probably a death. Okay. The gun jam. 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 Oh wait. New boxes. New boxes. New boxes. New boxes mean something. Oh, there's a thing here. Oh, oh yes, give me food. 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 I'm safe here. I'm safe here. Food, 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 food. Okay, no longer a death. Cool, we're safe. We are safe. I think these boxes are new. Where does this? Where, where can I get with these boxes? Uh, up, oh, up there. That's where I can get. Uh. All right, what's in here? Is this gonna take me behind Alice? It probably is. Hi. Uh. Oh. Oh, I can just walk to her. Okay, go, 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 go. Beat her up, beat her up, beat her up, beat her up. This is this is not getting me anywhere. All right, I guess that wasn't gonna work. You know, this place looks a lot brighter than it did last time, which could be a bug. Although I'm given the fact that the cooldown is now appearing in the bottom left of the screen, I'm starting to think that it might have actually just been bugged the first time, and this is the way the lighting's supposed to be. So, okay, so what I was hoping to do there is well, what I initially wanted to do was sneak up behind her and banish her, which is what we apparently need to do, given the fact that she's not turning towards me right now because she's blind as a bat. B blind and deaf, I suppose. But I thought I could beat her in a 1v1. I guess I couldn't. Okay, uh, shoot me? Why haven't you shot me yet? Don't throw me off the balcony. Yeah, shoot me. Shoot me. What? What? Oh, come on! Come on! <laughs> really? What's- is Boris gonna knock her out? Or is the other Alice gonna say? It's probably gonna be the other Alice. Yep. <laughs> Literally the meme, huh? Always was. Why does this feel so familiar? That looks like Boris behind her. Are you all right, Audrey? Alice. Yep. I cannot begin to tell you how good it is to After not showing up the whole goddamn game. Hey, but oh wow, you <laughs> you got quite the overhaul. Meet Tom. He's my protector. I call him Boris. My friend. You both got here just in time. Now I understand why you don't like being called Alice. The machine creates many of the same forms. At least, on the outside. On the inside, we're all pretty different. Well, from now on, I'm gonna call you something other than Alice. It just doesn't suit you. Oh? What do you have in mind? How about... Allison? It's not bad. Okay, I'll try it. Get out. it. But only if you can tell me what in heaven's name you're doing in Wilson's retreat. Good question. Wilson. I have no idea. I have to get back right away. How are you gonna do that? Is he? Wilson's our enemy. Do you even know him? Have you ever talked to him? I've seen what he's done. That's good enough for me. Look, it sounds like he has a plan to kill the ink demon for good, and. I think it can help us all. If only he made that plan known from the beginning. To go back and hear him out. Well, if it's true, you'll both need as much help as you can get. The ink demon won't go down. You turned on a dime real quick. Tom and I will gather some of our friends. Anyone who's left. Good luck, Audrey. You too, Allison. Mind if I take this? Oh, do I get the Tommy gun? 
Oh, you... Really, huh? Really? Really? You get the Tommy gun. Really? Really, though? Are we sure about that? Oh, I can pet the dog. Or whatever Boris is. That's nice. That's cute. Boris is friend. Boris is happy friend. Alright, so what I was gonna say, um, well, of course you get the Tommy- I get this stupid gent pipe, she gets the Tommy gun, and I still have not gotten my axe back yet, so that's fantastic. And that is now the second time in this series that Evil Alice was stabbed through the chest by a knife by the- the- the kind version of herself. I- I get it, it's the whole the cycles repeating itself thing, but this is starting to get a little annoying. And where were you throughout the entire game? Why does- why didn't Wilson make his motivations clear? Why- why you in, why introduce you in Chapter 1 and to come back now? What was the point of Evil Alice even being here? Like, seriously, what was the point of all- I- I don't know. That's- Hey, mechanically speaking, uh... Yeah, honestly, still kinda unimpressed. She bas- she basically- she has no peripheral vision, no sense of spatial awareness, which is what allowed me to speak- sneak up to her. She, she saw me go to the- that area to her left, which has a path to her, and she's like, Hmm, I guess I just won't pay attention to what's going on back there, do 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 she doesn't- she didn't bother moving at all to try to get a better angle on me. It's not that- not that great, so... Not too impressed. That whole section was just weird. I- I don't know what the hell's going on anymore. I don't know what the hell they think- like, this- I mean, Chapter 5 in the first game was also a, a giant mess, with no real tangible goal in, goal in mind. It seemed to change a lot of things, but... Didn't think that'd be a running gag in this game as well. Beautiful people run this world. If you can have brains or talent, you may just sneak through the gates. But with a pretty face, every door opens. The crowds bow to you. They ask your name. They want you to attend. They ask you to speak. A silky voice with gorgeous lips is everyone's weak spot. I was reborn with my perfection stolen from me. To get it back, I'll rip this rotted world apart. Angels are beautiful. Angels are beautiful. Uh-huh. So, still don't know how we got to Wilson's subway. I don't know how we got from his mansion to Alice's... Domain of Horrors. Thrones of Peace. Must they bring us only more pain? Well, I guess there, go, there goes my teleportation ability. It's kind of a shame. I was really looking forward to using that. Don't send me back. I have no idea what's happening. Oh, good, a little, well, at least we know this, if we need to hide, a little miracle station's right there. So that thing's on my side, right? Right? I, it, it, it that thing should be on my side, right? It, it, does that thing not work, is, is this thing not the thing that got us in the lab area? That, will that works for Wilson? And Wilson's on our side, right? So that thing shouldn't harm me, but this area is staged as if that thing's gonna harm me. You're confusing me here, game. I'm not sure what you want from me, game. I'm gonna, I'm, you know, I'm gonna save. I don't trust it. I'm gonna save this in case. Don't trust it. Trust is not a thing that I have for this. Where are we trying to go? I have no idea. Oh, oh, wow! Oh, look, a peak mechanic. I haven't seen that since episode two. Or maybe you know what? Maybe, maybe he's trying to guide me to where I need to go. Are, are, are you my friend? That's a no. Okay. I officially have no goddamn clue what's happening anymore. I officially lack even the most basic of understandings of what in the world is happening in this game. I have no idea whatsoever. I, I, I was under the impression those things were working for Wilson, and Wilson was our friend. Apparently he's not. I don't know. I, I don't get in, thank you. We'll just chill here and let him pass by. We'll chill, chill here, let him pass us by, and then we'll, I guess, ho hopefully we'll have enough room to be able to charge up the battery. Okay, let's let him, is that enough? That is enough, okay, cool. It's like I bought myself enough time and distance. It's where I, no, oh, come on, come on! Okay, hide in here. I said, don't, don't. What, 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 what do you mean? What? What's the goddamn point of the hiding stations if I can't hide in them when the thing's chasing me? It said cannot interact during combat. I wasn't fighting him, I was running from him. 
God damn it, man. I, I, I'm so intrigued by this game and its world. And I really want to like it. But so many things keep happening that just make that so, so hard. Like, I just don't get it. If the... So, if, if the keepers aren't on our side, am I safe? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Get in, get in, get in, get in. There's no reason this should protect me. You should be able to see me from here, but if it's gonna protect me, I'll take it. I'll take whatever chance I can get. I still don't know. I'm guessing, okay, I guess I gotta pull that lever once he passes by. But, if the keepers aren't on Wilson's side, then why... Then how was Wilson able to get me away from the keepers and into his subway? And why weren't the keep? Why didn't the keepers that we passed by at the subway station attack me? And again, where is where is Wilson? What's he doing? How is he letting this happen? I don't, I don't know who's ally allied with who and what everybody wants. It. Also, this thing's a lot less scary when I can see its tentacles spazzing out because of the physics engine behind him. All right, I don't trust this. I'm gonna save right here in case this gets me screwed over. I'm gonna save right here. And back out now. Am I safe? I think I'm safe. Please don't draw your attention my way. I still say that my death was bullshit. I, what's the point of the hiding spaces if I can't hide in combat? I, 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 I bet I could use a little miracle station in combat. Bet I could do that. Bet I could do that. And I wasn't even in combat. I was running away. Okay, let's save in this room. I'm just constantly, constantly saving. I don't trust any of this. Dear Alice, I don't know if you will read these notes, but I'll keep leaving them for you. I hope someday you'll understand my words and the madness will fade from your mind. In this strange and dark place, we can find light and purpose. We are not left to just wander alone, craving beauty, power, and other meaningless things. Even the heart of someone feeling incomplete can discover joy. We're not lost. We're merely waiting to be found. We are so much alike, foreign from the same mold. We're like sisters, you and me. I wish you comfort and the wisdom to let your heart melt into happiness. I won't give up trying to reach you before it's too late. Oh, seems like she failed in that regard. I'll refill my batteries. I'm, I'm probably running low on those. I don't know how many I have, but I'm probably running low. Also, give me things to eat. Thank you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, hi there. Okay. What is this? It's a music box. This music box could make a good distraction if I can fix it. What? Just distract him for what? Where are we trying to go? I don't... I, I, I don't know what the goal is, where we're trying to... You are not killing me from all the way down the... How did you... How, I... Okay, that's all right. All right. I call bullshit. I call bullshit. I guess is the whole thing screwed? Oh, what? How did you Okay. I don't know how the hell you got up here. No goddamn idea how you got up here. I don't know where you're trying to go. I don't I don't I this is unfamiliar territory. Is this Is this safe? This feels safe. You know, he's back down there. Is he just... He's just sitting... Or, or, or is there more than one of them? I guess maybe there's more than one of them. Oh, wait, there's an objective? Wait, hold on. There was a thing. There's a thing somewhere. Down there, I think. I, I think it's... I think the marker's pointing me down there. So let me once again save. And drop down behind this thing so he can't see me. That's okay, it's back there somewhere. This is a dead end. This isn't getting me anywhere. Okay. Did it? Yep. That fell out. Is he fa- Okay, he's not facing my direction. I'm safe to go in here. This is another dead end. They said he killed my lord. They said the ink demon fell. They said I was a false prophet, but I say my lord lives. I say he will return. But I say you better watch your back, Mr. Wilson. Can I get an amen? That's good old Samuel Lawrence. So, question. When Alice said we're going to gather my old friends, is this going to end with an endgame portal style scene where we get Henry and Sammy Lawrence and everybody in the final battle? Is that where we're going? Alright, are we going down there now? Well, I'm kind of out of places to go, and the, the indicator was going in that direction. So let me save when he inevitably kills me. And I know there's a little miracle station around the corner back there if I need to. Alright, let me peek. 
He said, let me... Can I not peek? I guess I can't peek. Don't turn right. Of course he turned 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 right. Why wouldn't he turn right? Right's the best direction to turn, as it would seem. You couldn't have turned left, could you? Couldn't have turned left and given me a free out. Nope. You have to make things difficult. Follow. Nope. Uh-uh. Your peripheral vision sucks, which is good for me. Following right behind you. You're not messing with me today. Just keep rolling. Don't you dare turn around. Just keep... Yep, yep, yep. That's right. That's right. Good boy. Good boy. You go that way. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. And we're safe. Okay, we're safe in here. We can't get through those boards. I got a key. Great. What? What? What good is that, exactly? I assume the key is to fix the... Okay, fix the music box, find the dancing figure, find the key. I have no idea where that is. It's probably... It's probably down the other section with a giant security door. I don't know how to open that, but I guess I'll have to find a way. And am I, am I gonna have to wait for you to pass by again now? Probably am, yeah. Well, this is another way out, which it doesn't seem that there is. I'm gonna have to follow behind him. Actually, no, I can't do that, because he's, he's gonna turn around. I have to just wait. This is really tedious. This is extremely tedious. Because the only thing I can do is I have to once again wait for him to turn that corner, go down that hallway, and I have to go back out around the corner. <sighs> this is annoying. Also, they introduced fast travel to me at a point where fast travel is no longer useful to me. I guess maybe for post-game, if you can go back through the, the workshop, or the, the studio, rather, it'll be useful there. Don't, don't come this way. Yep, that's good. That's good. You turn. You turn. I go, and you're never the wiser. You're never the wiser. Okay, I guess that door's open. Oh, of course. See, last time I came here, you were just chilling in that room, not minding your business. Now, of course, the door's open, so now you're on the move. Lovely. Right when it's most inconvenient for me. As per usual. Was there anything in here that was useful to me while you're over there? Uh, it would seem the answer to that question is going to be a solid no. Which is unfortunate. Alright, you facing my direct- Oh, that's a big old tower right there. That's a big old tower right there. And it's a door- My thing's charged up, so I should be able to open it up. Just gotta save. Am I clear? I think I'm- Oh, of course there's two! Of course there's two! Of course there's two of them right next to each other! Come on, open, 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 open. Open! Uh. Alright, where is it? It's gotta be in here somewhere, right? It's gotta be- I, I see the marker, but I also hear a thing. Oh my god, they're everywhere! How many of them are there? Okay, that thing was intimidating when there was just one of them. Now there's a gajillion of them. It's starting to lose its impact. In fact, I'm just growing more and more annoyed I am scared by any of this. And is this a safe hiding spot? I certainly hope so. Oh wait, I can just hide in here. That's my answer. Even if I wasn't safe in the halls, I'm certainly safe in here, except I can't actually see... Hmm. Okay, well... Good thing I hid in here, because he's coming down this way. That's the thing, I didn't know if he was going to come down this way or go the other direction. Good thing... This locker was here. Just turn around. Turn around, pal. No crowd all day here. Go that way. Go that way. Ah, 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 bye-bye. Keep on rolling. That's right. Now, you, of course, will not hear this when I open it up. Yep, go that way. I hope there's only one of you in here. Really hoping there's only one of you in here. And there's a book. Sure, why not? I'll take a book. Uh, battery. I shouldn't be focusing on getting these things. But I will charge up this thing. Come on, go quick, 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 quick. Charge up my thing. Charge, 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 charge. Go, 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 go. Yes, 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 yes. Stop with the stupid animations. I can hear him getting closer, but at least I'll, at least I'll be safe in here. 
Can I jump over this? Okay, good. I use for the jump key. There we go. I got. Why do we need this? This is just to distract. I, I don't think we need to distract them. I feel like I'm doing pretty good just getting around on my own terms. Do we really? What is the? I guess maybe just to draw them all to one location. But given the fact that they don't hear me clunking around, opening lockers and all that, is 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 a quiet little music box really gonna pull their attention away? Of course, you're gonna come in here. All right, which way are you going? Which, which direction? Come on, which direction? What would you have? That's what I was worried. I was worried about. Give me all these things. Give me all of them. Quickly, 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 quickly. That's everything except for that. Give me that. And that's about. Oh, that was not very kind of you. That was exceedingly rude to switch directions like that. Well, I'll give it to the game. This this is the most challenging stealth section so far. It definitely poses the most challenge of anything we've done. And it requires me to constantly be on the move. But, boy howdy, are some of the actual mechanics themselves kind of frustrating. In more ways than one. Uh, I may as well check the chest while I'm here. If I can do it fast enough. Uh, sure, I'll take all that. Now, where do I take this damn music box? Oh, well, first let me... Power down the, the generator thing. All right, where where does the damn where is this music? Oh. Am I gonna die now? No. Okay, hold on. Wait, I can't hide in here, right? That's such garbage. It's such crap. Up we go. Up we go. How can how can you hit me? I'm on the ladder. I'm on the goddamn ladder. I don't get it. Where where am I now? Wh I, where even? I think I'm above the area where. Do I have the music box at least? Okay, I have the things. I just haven't fixed it yet. Jeez, I, I don't get. I was on the ladder. How did you get whatever? So I think there was a marker in the last area. What's over here? Let me check what's over here first. If there's anything? There's nothing. Great. This area is worthless. So I had to bring it back here. Oh, in, in the last section, probably. Hold on. Oh, the mu- Oh, I, I guess- Alright, I didn't bring it with me. I just had to go back to the music box. Oh. Now I just need to find a good place to put it. And where might that be, exactly? Probably in that other section where there's the two keepers that aren't moving. I still find this whole thing kind of dumb. But, I guess you gotta pad your game out somehow. You know, now that I'm actually thinking about it, I'm starting to realize that this is giving off a lot of vibes of what Chapter 5 did in the first game, just in a different way. I don't know. Oh. Okay. I, that, that indicator wasn't there before, but I guess it goes here. Th this whole section is giving me vi vi not not it's it's not the same thing explicitly, but the whole idea of this really long drawn out section where you have to get a bunch of things while avoiding these really annoying enemies is very strongly reminiscent of the archive section from the from the from chapter 5 of the first game. And they're really both drawn like moths to a f- I don't- I don't buy this. I don't buy that that- Like, how is that music box making more noise than me right now? I don't know. But I can sneak past them, security- Like, are they are they not gonna turn towards me once I do that and the door opens? Okay, no, I guess it was just temporary, but still. Nope, nope, not- not- you're not catching me, not after all that. Not after all that. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Alright, where are we headed now? We're in the south wing. Whatever that means. Oh, hey. Oh, oh, oh I guess we're back in his ma- Oh! Oh, right, yeah, he said that it was blo- Okay, yes, yeah, so we're back in- uh, I just got turned around. Can I stop getting turned around? Thank you. Hello! I've returned. There you are. Thank goodness. Wilson's waiting for you downstairs in the laboratory when you're ready. But first, can I get your help with something? Normally, I wouldn't ask this of a guest, but oh, with all that's happening, I can't sneak out and get things like I usually do. Do you think you could pop round to the farmer's market back in town and find me a few ingredients? We're running quite low in the kitchen, and I was hoping we could all celebrate tonight with a lovely supper. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. A moment if you go by train. Up to you. No pressure. 
When you need to travel, take the train. Catch the subway when you need to travel between Wilson's Retreat and downtown. Next train is always on time. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Head to the far- Hey guys, it's chapter 5. The grand finale of our game. What should we do? Mm, I, uh, I guess I know. Let's have a boss fight- Boss fight in quotation marks. Against a villain who was introduced and killed in the same chapter. Who had no presence throughout the rest of the game. Now let's have a really boring, drawn-out se- Okay, not- That's a- That's a stretch. That's an exaggeration. That, that's a little dramatic. Let's have a really drawn-out stealth section that gone on way- Went on way longer than it should have. And then- Let's send the player on a fetch quest to go shopping for groceries at the farmer's market. Yeah, it's a big brain plan. I got- I really- I must admit. I'm loving- loving this so far. Where's the train? Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Where's my train? Choo-choo, people! There it is. I guess we're going to the- I don't know what's happening anymore. I am so confused by all of this. Or maybe not confused, just... I know it sounds the same, but baffled? Like, I know what the game wants me to do, but I'm just amazed that it's... This is actually it. Going grocery shopping. This is some quality gameplay here. Alright, let's go. Let's all go to the street exit and get ourselves some groceries. Oh, come on. Is it really worth it just to get some goddamn groceries? Is this really worth the hassle? I really don't think that it is, guys. Ye old farmer's market. Let's get some groceries. Somewhere. Am I just playing as a bat? Where do you, what do you want me to- Oh! Oh, great! There's just a box in the ta- Silly me, I assumed I was gonna have to actually pick out food from the individual crates. Nah, just take the box that says, For Betty. Great, and now I get to walk all the way back to the mansion. What are we doing, exactly? I got your groceries, Betty! Fresh from the farmer's market. You're a miracle worker, oh, truly. Oh, I only wish there was something I could do for you. Oh, wait, I spotted something in the fountain yesterday. Don't know what it's for, but you're welcome to have it. You better go see Wilson downstairs. He's been waiting ages. I would have been waiting a lot less time if you didn't send me on a grocery run. But, then who am I? Okay, so something in the fountain? What is this? Oh, that's a sad face. Picked up a memory? Okay. Uh... Where are those again? I don't know. I don't know where memories are stored. Oh well, maybe, maybe that was supposed to be the Meatly. Thinking about it, because I guess sad face. I, I think it looks like the Meatly's avatar. That's probably what that was. All right. Had he previously told me where the lab the lab was, and I just forgot? I don't. Oh, okay, right here, laboratory. Maybe something will happen down here. That isn't grocery shopping and. Music box repairing. Oh my dear God! All right, that my eyes are now gone. My eyes have been blinded by the lights. Oh dear God! What are we? What are we doing here? Okay. Uh, color doesn't look right in this world. In this monochromatic yellowish brownish atmosphere. This the rainbow colors are off-putting. This looks. Oh, wait. Is that gonna be- is, is this gonna be the big secret? We're gonna paint the world in colors? Blue, red, green? It will not green. Green is not a creative color. We're just gonna paint the whole world in all the colors of the rainbow so that we vanquish the ink demon. Is that- is that what this is? Well, I know that sounds ridiculous. I know it sounds ridiculous to beat the ink demon by painting him. But you gotta remember that the last time we beat him, we beat him by showing him a film reel. Nothing's off the table at this point. Well, guess that's my cue. Foe. To 
truly destroy such a monster, he must be dethroned, humiliated. For months now, I've been working on something that will do exactly that. Cast out the demon, and put a new deity in his place. Stronger, more powerful, and controllable. Together, we just need to unleash our ultimate weapon. Come, let me show you my creation. This is beautiful, simple, but elegant. A treasure, powerful beyond anyone. The Ink Demon will fall, and we can have peace at last. It could work, but... It sounds risky. How will we control him? We don't want to repeat Joey's mistake. No, we don't. All of the factors must be perfect. You're not serious. The right design, the right science, and the right soul. What? At last your purpose is revealed, Audrey. This is why you're here. With your soul inside him, my creation will live forever. Stay away from me. You're insane. Come now, Audrey. Part of you knew this was your path. Leave yourself behind and ascend. I thought you said we needed to save your father. I thought you had a plan to send me home, to make everything right. I lied. My father is beyond hope. Perhaps you know him. Nathan Arch, owner of Archgate, industrial genius, business tycoon. For years I've lived in his reaching shadow. He always had time for the grand creatives of the world, the doers, as he called them. He knew only the best, the biggest thinkers. How could his lonely son ever hope to compete with that? But now, thanks to you, I can. No need to struggle. My signal prevents you from using those devilish powers of yours. And more importantly, keeps the Ink Demon from getting in. It's time to die, Audrey. And live again as a god. <laughs> No, not this time. Game. Hey, hey, game. All right, took a while to pause there. Um. I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so, none of my criticisms of him change, because you might think, aha, see, he, he didn't actually want him, want her to help him defeat the Ink Demon. Well, I guess he did, but only by manipulating her and lying to her. So, that's why he didn't tell her all the details from the beginning, to which my, to which my response would be, okay, cool, He's, he clearly is willing to lie to her, so here's what you do. Do everything you did, except the stupid things. You just do everything you did in Chapter 5 where you say, My father's dying, I need your help, you gotta come save him. Except, just teleport, that you can still do the whole thing where you reveal that you're the evil mastermind in the end, right when you're willing to shove her into the thing. You, you can still do all that, but cut out all the middle stuff. Teleport her here, bring her here immediately on the subway. Don't do any... D I don't understand, Wolf. I don't understand why he couldn't have just said up front that that's what that's what he needed her for, and then use that lie to get her to come here. And is it really a good idea to reveal, like, to exposit and monologue to her his entire plan instead of just I don't know shoving her in there or telling her something, telling her that it's not actually, or waiting until she's in the thing to excuse me, sorry, activate the saw blades? And really, he's defeated because Audrey whacked him in the face with a pipe, and then he proceeded to not do anything while she wound up the slowest punch with the pipe imaginable, 
and what and shoved him in there you know maybe you sh maybe you shouldn't have dragged her in with his back facing the machine maybe you should have pushed her in. I also that's glossing over I was giving the game too much credit we're not gonna paint him to death we're gonna create a new cartoon to replace him <sighs> okay Okay, this game is something else. This game is something else, man. I don't even know what to think anymore. Alright, well, where's the new creature we just created? Thought the Ink Demon couldn't get in. Oh, there's a giant ass. L I don't know how I didn't see that. Is this a final boss room? This feels like a final boss room, and I'm thinking of. Oh my god. The hell? Okay, so we're we're just dead. Surely there's no way we win this. Oh, do not even tell me it's gonna be the exact. Si okay, 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 okay. Where do I charge? Where do I charge? Where do I charge the thing? Uh, the recharge right there. Recharge. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Got it. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, put it in. Put it in. Put it in. Put it in. Are, are we really? Okay, so. The first Bendy and Ink Machine game ended by tricking Bendy into slamming into four glass pillars in the four corners of the room. Are we really doing the same thing here? Oh wait, hold on. Let me see. Hey, hit this. Hit this. Yup, oh my god, it's the exact same thing. It's the exact s Okay, I- oh, of course you spawn in. Of course you do, of course you do, of course you do. Of course you spawn in. Great, hey, come hit me, buddy. Ow! I okay, don't actually hit me. Hit 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 the thing. Hit this. Hit the damn panel. With your giant yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. There we go. Oh, I didn't I, I need to charge it up. I'm dumb. I need to charge it. I need to charge it. I, I I'm gonna have a lot of choice words to say when we get down. But also, I'm confused. Is is this the thing that we made from Wilson's soul or is this just another random I'm assuming it's the thing we made, right? Is look anything like it was advertised on the paper? But I'm assuming that's what he's supposed to be. I keep forgetting I need to charge this stupid thing. I'm assuming this isn't going to be the whole fight. I'm assuming that this is not going to be the entire fight. Because that would be really lame if it was. I'm assuming this is just phase one. Oh, hi. Where did you all come from? Oh, okay. Seriously, where did you all come from? I get loot all the corpses. Not that it matters at this point. I'm pretty sure this is the final boss of the game. What's going on now? What's go- Oh, he's- Okay, he's moving. Uh, attack his hand while it's down, I'm guessing. Yep. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, 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 hi. Da, da, da. Oh, my God. Stop. Okay, he attacked again. Hit him. Maybe that's not where I'm supposed to hit him. That might not be where I'm supposed to hit him. I might be- I might be supposed to hit him somewhere else. Oh, also, I can- I can do, uh... Hey, you know what friends do? This. Alright, where do I hit him now? Uh, anywhere? I, I don't know where the- I don't know where the sweet spot is. <laughs> Not today, sir. Oh, what, what are we doing now? What are we doing now? What are we doing now? Ah, okay. Uh, he's anchored. Can I hit him in the head? Uh, maybe? Maybe? That doesn't seem to be working. That did not seem to work. I don't know- I don't know where the game wants me to hit him. Uh, there wouldn't happen to be any health stations here, would there? Does not seem that way. Uh, is this again? Fuck him. Okay. D did that work? I don't know if that worked. I really... Okay, maybe this fight isn't as simple as I thought it was going to be. First phase was the easy. Second phase, I'm a bit more confused about. A bit more... Eh. Okay, I think... I, I don't know if I'm dealing damage to him. Or if I'm just wa completely wasting my time. Oh, I should have saved my dodge attack. Yeah, definitely just should have saved the dodge attack. Uh. Uh. 
Oh, wait. Oh, here. Oh, obviously. Duh. The, the head right there. Not the... Okay, okay, okay. This is probably a loss. I'll accept that. This is probably the loss. I assume... I assume I needed to hit him on the head because the anchor... Because when, when his hand was locked down like this, I assume maybe I can hit him in the hand to deal damage to him. And that seemed to work, but okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. That's fine. I accept the death. I'll, I'll accept the death. That's fine. I know I know what I'm doing now. Just please check with me between phases one and two. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm dead. Cool, 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 cool. Got it. Cool. Just load autosave. Assuming that it's going to spawn me in the middle of the fights, not the beginning. Be really rude if you spawn me. Oh, never mind. You're a big old bag of dicks. You didn't give me a checkpoint. That's awful. Okay, I'll be honest with you. I thought... I assumed that when it, that the, the weak points were the hand and the head, because the hand was what got stuck, allowing for an easy hit. And then whenever he got his anger stuck behind him, that allowed, that pulled his head backward down to a point where I could reach it. And I, so I assumed that was what... That was where I had to hit him. But no, I, I didn't even see that he has Wilson's head on his hip. That makes a lot more sense. Okay, so that's where I gotta hit him. That's the weak spot. Now, now I know how to play the game. Now I know what I'm doing. Also, my cooldown teleport or my cooldown meter is uh not actually showing up, so I don't know how long I have to wait until my thing recharges. All right, is, is he is he going to do his anchor thing? Yep, he's going to do his anchor thing. All right, all right, and dodge it. Cool. And then attack him here. Good, 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 good. All right, that, that's I don't know how many times I got to do that, but that's one. That's one wave of hits. On Wilson, keep moving. I probably shouldn't jump while running because that wastes too much stamina. Up, up, up. Gonna need to try harder than that, buddy. Gonna need to try a hard. Gonna need to try a whole lot harder than that. All right. Well, it's cool that the boss fight isn't exactly the same as it was in any in, in Bending Knee Machine. I'm glad that there is. I'm glad there is a second phase to it that isn't just running around uh, hitting levers. I'm glad that there is. I do actually have to fight a boss. Wait, is that? Is there a... Hold on. After I hit this, I need I need to go check something. Is there a... Oh, that would have been great to know was up there. There's a health refill station up there. I think. I think that's the, that's the instant coffee thing, right? That would have been great to know was up there last time. That would have been great to know. Well, you know, the more you know and all that... I, I know for this time. I know for this... In fact, I think I am actually, actually need it. After, after I hit him again, I think I might need to go get that. Okay, I don't, I don't, okay, I don't know what you missed. I honestly don't know what you missed. My footage just stopped recording. Well, I'm getting I caught it before I, before the boss death animation was over, but. You didn't miss a whole lot. I basically just got the final hit on, oh! Okay, Jurassic Park time, cool. Little dino beats the big dino. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. So we're dead now, surely. Oh, wow, I didn't even... How the hell did that happen? I lost my legs?
What is happening anymore? Okay. There's always a choice. Uh, you again? I know you're in there. Oh, great. He's holding the real, isn't he? That evil face. Inside somewhere is my little girl. My Audrey. My greatest creation. I'm scared. I, I don't know what's happening. The past doesn't define you. Nor the present. In the end... All those years ago, Joey Drew finally succeeded. He created life. But Audrey, you're so much more than that. You were his family. His daughter. My daughter. And I love you so very much. Be quiet. Rich is Remember who you are. Remember oh. <laughs> Remember when I made that Lion King reference earlier? Remember who you are. I know you're in there. You don't have to be this anymore. It's never too late. Just a tense when a dream. This isn't enough. But you're not him, right? The real Joey Drew died and you just disappear constantly? Also, I guess looking at the real doesn't look anymore. Cool. What may have worked. What do you think you're doing? I'm starting over. This is the end. Oh, and now it does? What? Come on, man! I have a lot to say. I'm gonna... I'm assuming this is the ending of the game. We're gonna start heading to credits here soon enough. Oh. You guys thought you were really awesome for this, didn't you? You guys looked... <laughs> they looked at Super Mario Odyssey and said, Hey! What if we did... Th th that worked out for Nintendo. What if we did it here? That'll totally have the same emotional impact. I, I have things to say about this game. I'm just... I'm, I'm assuming... That we're gonna break out. I don't know if we're breaking out of the studio or whatever, but I'm just, whatever happens, I'm just gonna get to the end of the game and then we'll. I'll, I'll lay my thoughts on the table. Where? Is there a oh, door here, I'm guessing? Door right here, yeah, this is. This is totally as much fun as that one section in Super Mario Odyssey. This isn't boring and monotonous at all. Oh. I don't think Audrey, is that you in there? Come on, keep moving. We'll get you through. Tom. Where, where are we trying to go? Are, are we trying to get Oh, it's the guy. I okay. What is happening right now? 
What are you playing this trampin' ass music for? We only bear you only know who, who Alice and, and Boris are if you played the first game. What what is this Avengers ba 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 the triumphant music score? That's playing. He wrote it on some giant the giant ink thing from the from a couple episodes ago. What are we doing? I I don't know what the f I'm I'm confused. I'm highly confused by what's going on right now. Not that I, I say that used for quite a while, but it's, you, I got this. it's hard to fight with all this lag. And man, the motion blur gets really apparent when you start factoring in some frame rate lag. I'm sorry, can I not? Can I not? I guess I can't break through. Okay. What door am I trying to break through then? Can I? Can I just? Yeah, it gets. Oh, never mind. I had I had just had to hold out until it opened up. That's great. Does this section? So, what exactly is the plan here? Are you just gonna unleash this giant ink demon into the real world? Like, where? What? What is the end game? Where are we trying to go right now? I know I keep saying it, but I have no clue what's happening. Do what? You can do what? I don't... Keep going. Good luck to what? What do you want me to... Can you all shut up? Go away. Stupid ink things. And where did you suddenly get the gumption to fight me? And all... It's, whatever. Whatever, man. I like the idea that I'm supposed to just like... I like, I like the idea that this is supposed to be a power fantasy rampage where I mow for everything in my path. And yet I'm slow and cumbersome in how I'm moving through these hallways. And it's... We just keep going. We just keep going. Now so that's not a door. Need some help? I I I told you. Some battles are worth fighting. I told you this would happen. It's Come on. it's. I found a projector up ahead. Run I told you. It's the same goddamn thing. And I don't. I don't. So. Henry just said there's a projector up ahead, so we're trying to lead him to a projector to show him the reel again? My god, this is so lame! And why is- What's gonna make this work, but not the- Okay, fine, okay, fine, fair, fair, I'll, I'll throw my hands up. I, I did forget that. In, in the first game, it wasn't just- it wasn't just showing him the reel, it was projecting the reel onto the screen. I'll throw my hands up, that's on me, I got that wrong. But it's it's still so lame. Yeah, that that's that's epilepsy inducing. Does th th does the ink demon have no control over his body? Like why? How did it? How did? I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't understand. So last time we did this song and dance, I was teleported back to the real world. Is the same thing going to happen here? Yep. We're in the dilapidated ruins of Joey's apartment. Portal 2 style. My father wants that is some very poorly balanced audio. Just because we're born of darkness, doesn't it's more in my right ear than my left. My father's cartoon world was now mine. To rule, to watch over, and to protect. Oh, is that what happened? And make the cycle more bearable for my friends inside. But as for me, I'm the first of my kind. Born of ink, but living in flesh. Okay, that is weird. Joey's world 
is escaping into ours. So, what's next? Who can really say? How? 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 Left with no words, yet so much to say. That's all I got. That's- I- How do- <laughs> I'm- I actually don't know where to begin. I'm actually speechless. I'm actually completely blown away by this. So it's a cycle. The, the whole thing, it's trapped in it. So it's, so it's an alternate dimension that Joey, that Joey created to torment an imaginary version of Henry because he was pissed that he left. That's lame as hell. But putting that... Okay, putting that aside... I, I'm, I'm legitimately struggling to get, to get a hang of myself and just try to organize my thoughts. Because there's too much. There's way too much that went into this. So, <laughs> how, how did it, I'm actually really struggling here. How did the Ink Demon have no control over his body after we fused with him? Why did he relinquish all, it, I, just, I, I guess he didn't have the ability to relinquish only partial control to Audrey, because otherwise he would have done it, but why doesn't, how does that work? That, so, it's, it's the same goddamn thing that happened in the first game. Chapter 5, almost to a T, matches the same structure and outline that the first game did with the, the really lengthy intro cinematic that feels disconnected, the, lo the really anticlimactic combat section, the drawn out, uh, sluggish stealth section, and then a, a big final battle that makes no sense. I will say, Chapter 5 this time around did add a fetch quest to go get groceries from the market. I'm assuming that that was a side quest, right? Like, I'm assuming I could have just ignored that and gone to the laboratory. But in that case, that, that might almost be weirder that they had no side quests for the whole game until the very end in Chapter 5. Or maybe they were side quests and I just missed them, but... <sighs> that... That is... I, I don't understand what they think they're doing with this story. I don't get it. Like, I, I know conceptually that they're like, oh, it's a cycle, it repeats itself, it's, the, the, the dimension is trapped on loop, somehow, I don't know how, it's, I don't know why, I, I, I guess, because fusing with the Ink Demon gave Audrey control over the place, because it, the, in, the Ink Demon's in control, how, do, how did the Ink Demon get, get in control in the first place? And, wait, so if, so if showing the Ink Demon the real restarts it. It, does, it doesn't defeat him, it restarts it, so it didn't kill Audrey, it warped us back to the beginning. But why did- why did warping it back to the beginning- like, what- what happened between resetting the cycle and the- and that end scene where she's in control of the world now? Presumably it's- it's because she's- she's the Ink Demon, or she's part of the Ink Demon, that she has control of it. But, does that mean it vanquished Bendy, but didn't vanquish her? And it's fusing into our world? Bendy- like, I, I guess, I, I guess because Bendy and Ink Demon are one and the same, but that, that implies they were split again? Right, because, because we, we saw that Bendy and the Ink Demon, they, they, they're, they're one and the same. It's, Bendy is contained 
the ink team is contained within Benny, and then he just slips that every now and again. So when at the end it showed Audrey and Bendy in the room, in the, in the animator's office, I guess that's that's showing the ink demon was split into its two souls again. But how did that happen? How did... D and Joey Drew was there. I thought we saw him... He's, he's dead, so it was a figment of him, but we saw him disappear earlier, and he... What, what's the emotional value in him dying when it... I, and it's still so goddamn lame that this that it literally just takes looking at the stupid projector reel to to kill him. That final chase sequence was hilariously anticlimactic. They really thought they had someone. It's like, oh, you're in control of the ink demon, yeah! Steamroll through all the doors, box your way out, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. You were not onto something there, and you like that whole section. If you haven't played the first game, you don't know who Henry is, you don't know who Alice is, you don't know who Boris is. That the whole them like triumphantly charging into battle like endgame, that doesn't mean any- <laughs> And even within this game, like, they weren't in any of it. Henry showed up once in Chapter 4 in a throwaway, obvious, obviously nostalgia baity section. Alice showed up once in the beginning and once in Chapter 5. Boris showed up once in Chapter 5. In the uh, same scene as, as Alice's second entrance. How does- <laughs> I don't- and I don't know how the Wilson... Okay, look. I'll throw my hands up and I'll say, maybe there's hidden details in the game that I missed that would explain some of my answers. I'm not going to go through in depth to examine all the lore and piece together the story. Maybe if I did that, I would get a better answer. But I got to be honest, I somehow doubt it. Because this, it's the same thing in the first game, where they clearly didn't know what they were doing. It seems like they just threw a bunch of random crap together and decided to try to have fans make, in, make a story out of it. And, I, and then they, it seems like they did the same thing here, because I don't know what the hell they... Th how, what, 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 what do you want me to think happened between the end of... between showing the reel to the Ink Demon and arriving back in the office where the cycle restarted? I don't understand what this game... You have such a fascinating world. Such an amazing atmosphere, endless potential for stories, and you just keep going for the same crap that made the first game's ending feel leave such a sour taste in my mouth. And if anyone can make sense of this, maybe I'm just missing some major details here. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to be too definitive on anything because I know that this game has a lot of audio logs and hidden lore. Maybe I missed stuff. Please let me know in the comments if I'm missing some big detail here. But I don't know what the hell happened. I don't know what they want me to think happened. And and so, okay, even if we ignore all of the, the lore, the greater implications, and the cycle breaking, and all that stuff. Just, the core narrative is mostly worthless. Because, from the start, the, the what Wilson wanted to do was bring Audrey into the, into the ink world. And then sacrifice her to create a new cartoon monster to replace Bendy. Which, if we ignore how laughable that is, why didn't he just bring her there immediately? I don't understand, I, I don't understand how when he initially pulled her into the ink, they were teleported to two separate locations. And w after that, uh, like, they, I, I, I need to go back and check. I think that, uh, I think Wilson said, bring her to me. But then why was everything trying to kill me instead of bringing, because she he clearly, okay, my, my recording style, my, like, the, the video recording style, because I'm out of, I'm out of space on my, my computer, but that's fine, because my audio recording will still go, so I can keep talking. He, he, he said, bring her to me, but he needs her alive in order to sacrifice her to the, the grinding up cartoon-making ink machine, whatever the hell that was. So I don't know why everything was trying to kill me. I don't know why he didn't just come find me and bring her to me. I don't know why he didn't take me to the subway immediately. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand who the keepers work for because I got captured by the keeper in the jet building, and then I woke up in in Wilson's subway, presumably implying that the keepers work for Wilson, especially because the keeper at the subway station didn't kill me. But then in this chapter, during the cell section, the keepers were trying to kill me again. I don't get it. I don't. I don't. I don't get this game. The most of this narrative was meandering nothingness. And just, uh, just a disjointed mess from start to finish. And, okay, gameplay-wise, it had good stuff. It, it, there were, there was good, some, some good stuff in there. The spider battle was pretty cool. The final battle, once I knew what I was doing, for, the first phase is a retread of the first game, but the second phase is actually pretty fun. 
some of the stealth, like, I, I know I harp on the, I harped on the stealth section today for a lot, and it, it really was kind of drawn out, but it was still the most engaging stealth in the game so far, so that's something. The combat was still one note, unfortunately, it's just whacking them until they die. The abilities, the abilities are a nice touch, being, having upgrade stations and things like that added a lot more depth to the, to the, the gameplay and the puzzle solving, I like that a lot. Um, racking my brain here. Yeah, I gotta be honest, I don't... I, I guess it, I, I think I, the thing is, I, I just replayed the first game a couple weeks ago before this came out. I think this is probably still better. I, I need to replay them back to, I know I, I know I just played the first game so recently, but I, I think I need to play it again to get a better sense of which one I think is better. Nar narratively speaking, they're both, a they're both just a gigantic mess. They are both a giant mess. I, I, I don't know which... I can't, I can't pick one which one's better story-wise. They're both equally insane and disjointed. Gameplay-wise, I, th I, th I think core gameplay, this is better. Th this game is definitely better in terms of core gameplay. In terms of design, it's probably still better. But it just, th the thing that I keep... Like, okay, horror-wise, whenever they created a... Uh, they focused, they doubled down on atmosphere and wanted to create a really atmospheric section to try to really scare the player... They were able to do it pretty well most of the time. But for some reason, they relied on a lot of cheap jump scares. Especially, what what is the point of Ghost Girl? I, I thought they were going to make that a big story de a story beat. Of there was this fourth forgotten character. That would maybe, that would there would be some more backstory there. No, there's nothing. There's just, oh, there's a fourth character that never got into the, into the, into the cartoons. She's going to haunt you for the rest of the game now. But by haunt you, I mean she'll occasionally just jump scare you out of nowhere. Not try to attack you. Or maybe attack you once and disappear, making her an entirely worthless addition to the game. I hate Ghost Girl. So oh, Ghost Girl sucks so much. The Ink Demon is crap too. The Ink Demon just appears. He, you don't even ever see him. You see him in scripted cinematics, but in gameplay, you only ever see text on your screen that say the Ink Demon is coming. You better hide, and that's it. So, and then once, once. Once you know how that works, it's not scary anymore. Because it's just, oh, the message appeared. I must hide now. That's as, that's as deep as the mechanic goes. <sighs> Man, I... Like, I really, I really wanted to enjoy this. I really, really, honestly did want to enjoy this. Because I was, I was... It's, it's been such a long time. It's been four years since the last game. I was really looking forward to playing this. And I was really hoping that they would be able to... And, and they clearly did. They clearly listened to the criticisms of the first game, and they said, ah, yes, this is where we screwed up, this is where we need to do better. And they did do better, but it, it feels like for everything they fix, they just, like, it's one step forward, two steps back. For every one thing that they fixed and they improved upon, there were two other things that either regressed or stayed stagnant. Like, for, for, in, for instance, regressing things. Why is there no transcript for when audio logs play? And why are the subtitles so goddamn small? With no option to adjust them. And why is it when the subtitles do appear... Or sorry, when, when they appear, they're small. But they don't even always appear. There's some audio things in the game where there just are no subtitles. Like the, the guided tour audio boxes around the studio. And you might th think those are small things to point out. But I don't know, man. Subtitles are kind of important. For people who are hard of hearing. Or people who just want, prefer to be able to read the dialogue rather than having to listen to it. That's kind of an important thing. Especially since the first game had it really well, consistently. The, t the subtitles were nice and big. Maybe it could have added some more customization options to make them more readable for different people. And provide maybe outline options, size options. But they were still they were still pretty good subtitles. And all the audio logs had transcripts on the screen mid-gameplay that I didn't have to go into the menus. I mean, it's nice that the menus have all the audio logs cataloged that I can go back to anytime I want. That's a good change. But that's the thing. One step forward, two steps back. One step forward... The, you can listen to all the audio logs in the main menu. Two steps back. The audio logs don't have transcripts anymore. And the subtitles, just generally speaking, rarely play or rarely show up. And if they do, they're small, they're incredibly small. I don't know, man. Like I said, I really wanted to like this. I was really hoping that they, they would make up for the, where they screwed up in the first game. And they did in some areas, but I just I feel like this, this game had more misses than hits overall. I mean, I'm still, I'm still glad that I played it. I, I'd still, 
I guess I, I guess I to put it kind of end on a positive note. For all the criticisms I have of it, I'd still I'd say that I still overall mostly enjoyed this game. For the most part, I still had fun. I was intrigued by the mystery and seeing where it would all go. But there's just a lot, there's a lot about this game that. I mean, it, it feels more polished. It feels more polished. The first game was clearly made by a small, inexperienced team. This this was definitely a team that had learned from the mistakes of the past. So there's more polish to it, at least based on my playthrough. But yeah, what 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 was polished? I. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna I feel like I'm gonna just sound like a broken record if I keep going. My conclusion is, I enjoy myself. But this game has a lot of issues. Narratively speaking, I don't understand. I don't, I don't know what they were trying to go for. It doesn't make much sense as its own thing. It doesn't make much sense in connection to the first game and what they're trying to do for this cycle thing. Some gameplay additions were cool. Some were not. Some sections were really well done. Some were not. <sighs> like the Alice Angel battle, for instance. And, of course, I didn't even mention things like uh, Wilson trying to pull us into the machine instead of pushing us in. Us being able to beat him up. By just whacking him once, the Alice, and then the Alice battle. She didn't see or hear us sneak up behind her. We just comically fell off the ledge. That's... Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna stop. I'm, I'm gonna stop. Let me know what you thought. If you played the game yourself, or if you watched my playthrough. Let me know what you thought of this game. I think this game has, like, a 10 out of 10 on Steam. I think it is overwhelmingly positive. Let me just double check real quick. Bendy. And... The Dark Revival. On Steam, yep, it has overwhelmingly positive reviews. People love this game. And I guess I can't blame them because it's been so long since we've last gotten a Bendy game. But I, I wonder I wonder if with the passage of time, if the impressions will go down somewhat. Because I kind of have them with the first game. Each new chapter, except for chapter 3 and 5. Because chapter 3 was just awful. And chapter 5 was equally awful. Uh, those kind of came out and were immediately panned but for the for the most part the game as a whole it's kind of fallen in reputation over the years so maybe the same thing will happen here i mean i have i haven't seen any discourse i don't know what i haven't seen people like talking about this game on social media or whatever so i don't know what the general opinion on this game is i mean obviously i be sorry i can clearly see people like it overall but i mean specifically what people like and what they don't i don't know so i'm kind of firing blind with this one so be sure to let me know what you thought in the comments, if you thought this was good, if you thought it was bad, if there's things I missed to fill me in on the gaps of the story, please let me know. To put a nice bow on it, glad I played it. I had fun for the most part, but it's a heavily flawed game. So, that's that. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. I'm gonna, I think the next thing I'm gonna play is I'm gonna play Among the Sleep. Among the Sleep is an, a horror game I've already played, like, seven years ago on the channel, but I've only... I think it's been like seven years since I've played it, so I'm I'm looking forward to revisiting it because I remember being very fond of that game. And I think I'll playing it after this might be a good chance for me to kind of go point out some some of the elements of that game's horror uh, factor that I think help it work really well in contrast to this. So yeah, that's my thoughts on Benny in the Dark Revival. Hopefully you enjoyed this playthrough. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next time. Hope to catch you all soon for whatever you decide to watch next. Goodbye.